Hello there folks, hope you're all doing well here at the U.S. National Arboretum in uh, Washington, D.C. And uh, it's just a gorgeous day here today. Uh, in the 50s right now, warming up to the 60s today, mid 60s, and then lots of weather in the 60s coming up. So uh, really nice, fall is probably my favorite season here, just beautiful. Um, and uh, we did get below freezing one night, 31. Um, but uh, right now the lows are in like the 40s to 50s uh, for this night's next period. Uh, and some highs in the 60s and 70s. Uh, so really nice weather. Again, fall is pretty variable. Kind of just depends week to week, day to day what the weather is. But uh, right now, really nice and uh, just beautiful. So I just wanted to uh, do a quick video on this uh, beautiful bald cypress grove. I, I drive by this a lot when I come to the Arboretum. I, I park right over there near the entrance and the visitor center's down there where they have some palms, cacti, and succulents planted. The uh, needle palms over there towards the Asian garden section. It's very hilly here. It's just beautiful. Um, there's actually like, you can't quite see it through all the trees, but there's like a, you know, small hill or a hill slash small mountain, not really a mountain, but uh, in the Arboretum with uh, beautiful panoramic views of DC. So it's just absolutely great place to be. And uh, yeah, I drive by this a lot, but I've never actually gotten out to take a video of it. So I'm just walking around now. I was here recently, but I didn't get a video of the palms and stuff at the Arboretum, at the uh, visitor center. So I'm gonna do that. But uh, this bald cypress growth is absolutely gorgeous. Um, bald cypress taxonium stickum is native uh, to Maryland. We're not in Maryland right now. We're in DC, but right near the Maryland border. Um, and it's naturalized all over, including at the Arboretum here. Like, I mean, I don't know how many of these are planted versus naturalized, but a lot of them naturalized along with the creeks here. Um, but a lot of the wetlands here have bald cypress in them. I know the river just down there has bald cypress that's naturalized. So it's almost hard to call it naturalized since it's native like an hour away. So uh, obviously it's not like invasive or anything. Uh, it's from this, you know, similar ecosystems, but not quite native to DC, but uh, almost. And uh, yeah, just an awesome, awesome tree. Um, absolutely beautiful. And you can see here the fall foliage. This isn't the best showing of fall foliage. I mean, usually it's like the maples and stuff that really have that, you know, beautiful like reddish color, but you can see some of the foliage starting to turn. Uh, the foliage comes on kind of later here than I know like New England already had their peak season of foliage. We're sort of getting into it. I mean, you can see some of these trees, like, I think it might be apple trees or something that have lost all their leaves already. Some of those ones too, but uh, a lot of them are still fully green, like sweet gums and stuff. I know those are still fully green. So it really just depends on the tree, but uh, obviously a lot of deciduous trees are still green here, uh, you know, into November. So, uh, you know, we, we're at a, you know, relatively low latitude uh, for considering how cold it gets here. Uh, I mean, not that low, but... Uh, foliage does stay green, you know, later here than further north places. So that's kind of nice. And, and uh, bald cypresses are interestingly a deciduous conifer, one of the few. So people think conifer and evergreen like mean the same thing or like that all evergreens, all conifers are evergreen, which is not the case. Um, there are a few uh, conifers, the uh, bald cypress, the uh, dawn redwood, which actually looks very similar to the bald cypress, also loses its needles. Uh, and uh, larches, I think, do as well. Um, so those are deciduous conifers. But uh, I really love bald cypress. It's one of my favorite trees. And this is probably the most beautiful, one of the most beautiful groves I've seen in DC. Just really skinny trees with beautiful tops to them. Very redwood-like, actually. They look a lot like redwoods, just in the general shape. And uh, they, uh, these are still mostly green, or at least this one is. But you can see them still starting to get like a lot of rust-colored foliage. They get this like really rusty, uh, sort of like brownish, uh, you know, a light brownish look um, when their leaves begin to turn before they uh, drop the needles. Uh, so I think it's really cool, really beautiful. And uh, they're beautiful all seasons, even in winter when they have all their needles that have been lost. Uh, they uh, still have a beautiful shape to them. They have these beautiful knees too. These like roots that stick up from the ground um, to provide support, I guess like as they're native to swampy areas. So in like, you know, hurricanes and bad storms that come through, they're native all the way down to South Florida where it's tropical and they get hurricanes that go through. So those knees help stabilize the tree in storms and stuff like that. So really, really cool. Uh, and you can see all the cones up there. I don't know if there's cones. This might be just like uh, seed clusters or I don't know, seed clusters. I don't know what those are. Uh, but those little like tufts you can see sticking out the end there, but uh, really cool. Yeah, really, really cool. So just love bald cypresses, they're awesome. And again, almost native to DC, native to the state of Maryland where I live. So really cool. They're native all the way up to Delaware on the East Coast and uh, up to the uh, parts way in the Midwest, uh, like Southern Indiana, Western Kentucky and uh, Southern Illinois. So uh, they're native really far. It's just kind of strange. They're native to quite cold climates, but really far north, like, you know, zone 7A or something up into, uh, up into, uh, you know, Indiana and Illinois. But for some reason, they're not native further north on the East Coast. Northernmost grove, I believe, is in Delaware. Uh, someone said there was like sightings of them in, in uh, New Jersey. Uh, I don't know if that's true or not, but uh, I would definitely believe it. I mean, 
again, they're very hardy, so it's kind of interesting. I'd expect them to be native further north on the east coast, but uh, they're just beautiful. Look at these trees. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Something's back here, some like big pipe or something. There's a lot of like abandoned, it's a, it's a really cool place, the Arboretum. Uh, there's a lot of like abandoned uh, facilities and stuff back here. Um, and a lot of just stuff that's become overgrown. It's like a jungle back here. So really, really cool. But I just want to share that with you. Folks, beautiful bald cypress grove here. Uh, the knees, I'm not seeing a lot of knees right now because uh, usually the knees more develop when they're in like standing water. And I would go further back, but you can see these spines if that focus is there, not too fun. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot of spiny plants back here. There's a holly there, but very cool looking. Gotta love that. So beautiful, beautiful bald cypress grove here at the National Arboretum. So very southern looking again. These are native to uh, more northern places, but uh, obviously classic trees of the south, uh, across the southeast. So really, really cool. Love them. Take care, folks.